One of the one of the places we went when we were in Jerusalem was was a dungeon where some people believe that Jesus was held the night before he was crucified. I'll never forget being in that in that dungeon space and 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 looking up through a hole where he would have been lowered into that pit. And what was he thinking at that moment? And what do you think at that moment? when you've been lowered into a pit and it looks like there's no hope for you for the future. I mean, this is where God is at work in the pit with us to give us strength to face what we're facing and to give us the the assurance that this pit is not the defining story. It's not the end of our story, that God has more for us than we can possibly imagine in front of us and that God is at work to lift us out of the pit. Here's this messed up family. And and, and you think, how could this family ever find healing ever again? And yet God is at work in, in, in and through this story to bring healing to this family. And at the end of the story, you find some some restoration and wholeness and healing, but you're not there yet. You're in the pit. And when you're in the pit, you can't see that that's coming, but trust with all your heart that it is coming. Trust with all your heart that when life feels like it's abandoned you into the pit, that you are not alone, that God is not only with you, but that God is at work to bring about your salvation. God is at work to bring about healing and hope for the future.